Welcome to this video on integration. In this video, we're looking at the volume of rotation, looking at the volume of a cone by rotating a line about the x-axis. The formula, v is equal to pi of the integral between b, b and a of y squared dx is given in the log tables. Okay, show that the volume of a cone of height h and radius r is volume is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. Well, let's draw a little picture of this. So we're going to draw our y-axis and our x-axis. And we're going to draw a line. And the trick is we always draw a line that goes through the point zero, 0, through the origin. And we're going to imagine that this line is y is equal to mx plus c. And we'll figure out the exact equation of this line in a second. And we're looking at this little triangle segment that we're going to rotate in a minute. So we're going between 0 and h, because we're going to let our height h be represented by this x-axis line. And then r would be the radius, that's the, in terms of the y-axis here. So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be rotating the line about the x-axis. So it looks something like this when we rotate it, that the line will be rotated around the x-axis. And we're going to follow the formula that's given in the log tables. That the volume of rotation is pi between b and a of y squared dx. Now, I suppose the first problem here really is what is y squared? So we'll have to think about this. Now, this relates to the equation of the line that y is equal to mx plus c. But if we knew what the slope was, we'd be able to work this out quick enough. And the slope is rise over run, and we see in this diagram that's r over h. And because it goes to the origin, c is equal to 0. So the equation of this line is y is equal to r over h times x. So y squared would be r squared over h squared by x squared. So now we're ready to start our integration. Well, using the formula, v is equal to pi. Our limits are h and 0 along the x-axis of y squared, which is r squared over h squared x squared dx. Now, r squared and h squared, well, these are constants. So we can move these to the left-hand side of the integral symbol. So we write pi r squared h squared the integral of x squared dx between h and 0. So now we're ready to do our integration. So the constants, we write them the same as before. And when we integrate x squared, it becomes x cubed divided by 3. And this is becoming between h and 0. Now, putting in 0 is trivial. There's no need to do that because it's nothing. So we're just going to sub in our h value into this. So instead of x cubed over 3, it's h cubed over 3. Here we see there's a cancellation. We have dividing by h squared and multiplying by h cubed just becomes h. And there's our answer. We see what we're left with is uh, one third pi r squared h, which is the formula for the volume of the cone.